AirPods exploded into the marketplace five years ago and remain a popular way to listen to music and answer calls. But a viral tweet with more than 3,800 likes and a similar Facebook post with 10,000 shares claims that convenience comes with dangerous health effects. So let's verify. Do AirPods transmit dangerous levels of electromagnetic waves? Our sources are the FCC, the National Council on Radiation Protection and Measurements, and two experts in the field of electromagnetics and radiation. Before we get into the claim, let's first explain electromagnetic waves. Every electronic device in your home sends out streams of invisible energy waves. The government sets limits on how strong those waves can be, whether it's a cell phone, wireless headphones, or a microwave. We know for very high intensity energy, definitely can cause the harm, can kill you. You know, so, uh, you know, that, that's how we use microwave oven for, is you put a, you know, a coffee in there in a few uh, minutes, it will be hot or boiling. You know, if you put your head in there, it will be cooked. Same thing. The maximum strength of AirPods is 10 times lower than the FCC limit. The agency also says, quote, no scientific evidence establishes a causal link between wireless device use and cancer or other illnesses, unquote. I think that, that the public should be reassured by the state of the science and, and the technology as it exists today. So it's false that AirPods transmit dangerous levels of electromagnetic waves. With your verifying.